I want to talk about how to manage risk in a really volatile logistics market. Many people see the freight rates are moving all over the place, ocean freight rates just dropped a bunch, and many people are scared if they might go up again. So what I think it's super important that you're going to try to stay as local as possible to the market. So, uh, you know, talk to your freight forwarders, talk to your local agents, talk to people like me that, that are in the industry every day and, and, and living and breathing it. You know, um, the other thing that I would always look at is to see what can you do to actually limit your risk with your clients. You know, so many times, you know, freight rates were quoted for 30, 60, 90 days to your clients, when many times you don't have coverage on the carrier side or your agent side. So one of the big things that I recommend is that you're really only doing deals back to back. Don't take position in the freight or think what the freight is going to do actually get the freight rates confirmed for a carrier for 15, 30 days and just quote the rate for that amount of time. I think that will help you tremendously of not losing any money on any files if the freight rates changed last minute. Whenever the customers are not happy with that, you know, you can just explain to them saying, hey, this is what I think the market is going to do, but for right now I can only give you a firm rate here. And the last thing I want to talk about is really insurance. So um, there's many insurance companies out there that cover a lot more things than just cargo liability insurance. There's insurance for demerge charges. There's, there's insurance for errors and admission. You know, if one of your employees does a small mistake, there's actually insurance for that. And most people don't realize that these insurances are fairly cheap you know, um, that, that it just becomes an operating expense of your business. And, and I have met so many freight forwarders that don't have any of those insurances currently and that are currently not using them. So I think that's just really a really big advice for me to, to look into that. If you need any help with that, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you so much.